Hey guys, my name is George and today I'd like to go over George's Excel checkbook register version 11. And this is real simple checkbook software to help you manage your financial accounts. And if you're interested in the checkbook software below the video in the description, there's a link there where you can go directly to the product page. So currently I'm in the account summary and this is going to show your particular accounts that you've added, the register balances in each of those accounts. And over to the right here, there's summary information related to reconciliation. Towards the bottom here, you're going to have some summary information of your total assets, total liabilities, and your net worth. It's really easy to add another account. You just click right here. You type in the account name. And then you choose whether it's a asset or a liability. Click OK. And then your account here will be added. So let's take a look at this Chase checking account here up top. Let's go directly to that account by clicking the arrow here. And here is the checkbook register where you enter your transactions for this account. What's great about this register is you can filter the transactions and get a subtotal of those filtered transactions based on the criteria in each column. There's also some summary information to help you with reconciliation. So right now we can see that there's one item outstanding for $2,700. That's this item right here. So if we want to mark that as cleared, just put an R in that particular column and you can see up here and now you have no items outstanding and the register balance equals the total clear. A new and exciting feature in this particular version is the ability to split transactions into multiple categories. So whether you want to split an expense into various categories or you can even split income items into various categories and that's what I have here. We have a paycheck that we received and we broke that paycheck into part of it was bonus and another part of the paycheck was salary. So whether the item is income or expense, you can split it into multiple categories. Another new feature in this particular version is the tag column, allowing you to add additional information to describe the transaction. And that's also going to help when it comes to creating reports. It's another field that you could use to filter your data. So for example, you can tag a particular transaction as maybe tax deductible or business related. And then that allows you to get subtotals within this particular register of that item or those items that match their criteria or in the custom pivot tables inside the software, you can run reports and get subtotals of all the items that are business related. And there's one other cool new feature is you can reclassify categories. So you can change a category from one type of category name to another type of category name. And it'll change them all at once for you to save you time so you won't have to manually change them. Another cool feature that helps with reconciliation is let's say that these two items here are outstanding. You can scan right here the items that are clear and you'll see easily those two items that are outstanding up top here it will show you that two, there's two items another option is to click up here filter show outstanding and that's going to list a subtotal of those transactions that are still outstanding so you can easily spot them you can also do the same thing to just show cleared items and if you want to show all your transactions again you just click here clear all filters and now all transactions are visible again. Another neat feature is in these registers, you can future date transactions so that you can do what if analysis to see what the balance is going to be based on future transactions. And also in the reports, you could run reports based on future transactions. Another nice feature is when you're entering your categories here in the category column, you can easily pick from your drop down list here of income categories expense categories, and other categories. And this category list is completely customizable by you. And those are some of the great features of the register. So let's go back to the account summary. So once you enter your transactions into the registers, the software will automatically create some awesome reports for you based on that information. So let's take a look at one of those reports. This is the chart dashboard income versus expenses 
And this is where you get a great visual of your income versus your spending on a monthly basis. And this last chart here is really cool. It's going to be based on a cumulative basis. So you'll see how your money is building throughout the whole year. So scroll back up to the top here. You can also change some information. You can go this year, last year, and the last 12 months. Let's take a look at another one of these dashboards. Let's go back to the account summary. And let's take a look at this chart dashboard of this year versus last year. So up top here is where you can choose what information you want to display. You can choose some summary information, total income, total expenses, or net amount. Or you can pick any particular category that you created. So for this particular one, let's look at groceries for this year versus last year. So you can see here it compares the information on a month to month basis and on a cumulative basis. And there's different charts to help you visually see that information. So let's go back to the account summary. Let's go up top here and let's go to the all 12 registers combined. Now this register is a master register that automatically adds to it each transaction from all the individual account registers that you entered information to. So one of the nice things about this master register is you can filter transactions and search for them. Let's say that we want to filter transactions where the category is groceries. And if we look over here to the right under account name, we could see that multiple accounts were used to purchase groceries. So you can further filter that by account or by particular date range and get a subtotal of those particular transactions. Right up top here would be the subtotal. So if you want to clear all those the filters, you just click here, clear all filters to show all of the transactions. So let's go back to the account summary. And let's take a look at the pivot table report in the top right here. And here's a really cool report that gives you flexibility in terms of customizing it. This particular report is a category report that lists your income minus your expending by categories. So it's going to subtotal all the data in all of your registers. So I, I have two years of data in my registers, year 2023 by month, and then a total of 2023, year 2024, a total of 2024, and a grand total of those two years. So if you want to filter that data by a particular time period, you have the ability to do that right here. So let's say that we just wanted to show data for a particular quarter. And the first quarter of 2024, you just click there and instantly the data is updated to show you just those three months of the year 2024. You can do multiple quarters. If you want to clear that, you just click right here to show all of your data again. You could break it down by months years, even specific days. So when you do it by the day, you can pick a particular range of maybe seven days or 14 days to see maybe how you're doing based on your paycheck period. Over here under category type, you can just show your income items, just your expense items, or both items. What's neat about this is you can filter by the account also. So maybe you just want to see your spending and your Discover credit card. If you click that, those are just the transactions that are related to your Discover credit card. So if you want to see back to all of your accounts, just click right up here. And all the information from all of your accounts is now updated. Other ways that you can customize this information is right now I'm doing the report by categories. So if you want to change that, you're going to click right in here. And you're going to get these pivot table fields list here. These are all the fields that you can do totals by. So let's look at the description field. So one way you can customize a report is grab this description field. 
pull it all the way to the bottom here and then you're going to right click and under expand and collapse you're going to collapse entire field and now you can see where you spent the money within each of these particular categories so if I click under groceries you can expand it now and you can see the different places that we went to spend groceries on the totals of each of those and of course the grand total on groceries so that's one way that you could easily customize this pivot table report to get additional information to help you manage your money so let's go back to the account summary and let's take a look at one last report here this net worth chart report so this net worth dashboard is a great way to see the value of your account balances over time so in this particular chart you have your different accounts you have the value of those accounts here on the left and you have the time period involved which is the beginning from when you enter transactions to the, your last transaction so you can't limit the um, time frame of the transactions for this net worth chart you need to include all of your transactions the other caveat is over here under category type you need to include all of these except for split you can pick and choose which particular accounts you want to focus in on or you can choose all of the accounts so let's say that I want to see the home mortgage versus the home value you can just see those particular accounts and see how their values have changed over time if you just want to look at your Chase checking account you can see the value in that how it's changed over time you can see your Roth IRA and see the value of that how it's changed over time to see all the accounts again click right up here to clear and see them all you can get one other view of this if you click right here if you drag the account name to this section right here instead of seeing each individual account separately all accounts are combined into this one line chart so you can see here when we first started entering transactions we had a value of around 201,000 and now at the end of this two-year period our net worth has grown to around 315,000 and let's take this account name and put it back here you can also change the chart style so if you go up here to design change chart type column and then stacked this is another view of your data here if I click OK you can use a different type of chart to view your data and analyze it differently so this is another great report to see how your money is growing over time so let's go back to the account summary so that's an overview of the simple checkbook software please like and subscribe to my youtube channel for new videos